I wanted to do an early season ski trip and I just wasn't really sure where until last night where I decided on Lake Louise. Uh, today's Sunday the 19th of November, it's 6.30 a.m. right now, it's pitch black outside and I think it might actually be snowing. Taking it easy. Uh, I want to get to the top of Rogers Pass Summit, um, which should take me a little under an hour. And I'm going to stop there, have breakfast, and see how we're getting on. Won't you fly? We're at the top of Rogers Pass. Um, and man, it's this looks like proper winter. Up there is Balu Pass, which is one of the touring routes I want to try this year. I've hiked it, but um, it's supposed to be a good area for touring. Uh, but we're at the summit, so we've reached the top, and now it's downhill and on to Lake Louise. I have been waiting for this for, for so long. Oh, let's go, let's get up there. Just get you bite the bottom bit off, we'll get you a pipe. Okay, let's see if I can remember how to ski. <laughs> Woo. All right, first run of winter 2023-24. First Gondi of the season, first uh, run of the season, now first chairlift of the season. Okay, first impressions. Uh, it's very busy. It's uh, very icy in places, but that's just like a thin layer because um, it's early season and a lot of it I think is man-made snow. But we've got a little bit of uh, light snow in the air, which is good. At this point in the season, it's not about deep quality powder, it's just about easing back into it. Yeah, I've already seen one blood wagon, uh, two injuries, and a lot of patrol out controlling people's speed. So again, taking care today, we're not pushing it.
let's get into the stats of this place so when everything is fully open lake louise has 4275 skiable acres 3250 feet of vertical it's got 164 marked runs uh, the longest run is eight kilometers um, in terms of the terrain 25 percent is that is beginner 45 percent of that is intermediate 30 percent is expert uh, the summit uh, is 2,650 meters or 8,693 feet. Uh, 11 lifts, uh, one gondola, one six pack chair, five quad chairs, a triple chair, and then three magic carpets. This is not my first visit to Lake Louise. Although it was a long time ago, I can still remember the iconic Ten Peaks Lodge at the base of the resort. This building is not only a unique feature of Canadian skiing, but is also the busiest place when it comes to getting food. There are several different areas inside, including a cafeteria and grill. It was the perfect location for me to grab a bite after my first morning on the mountain. The meal combo plus a bottle of water cost me $23. After devouring the food and enjoying watching the other skiers, it was time to get back out there. You gotta give the uh, operations team here a big pat on the back for getting so much open so early. Mostly with man-made snow. I mean, they've even got one of these back bowls open. Granted, a lot of these are just uh, green and blue groomers, but uh, you know, it's still nice to get out there. Um, and I'm not sure how I feel about uh, having like ski patrollers on sort of every corner. Um, that's very like big American resort kind of feel, but it's early season, safety's important, right? You, you, you don't want to uh, do anything stupid, but I've already seen another blood wagon. So yeah, injuries are happening, but the ski legs are feeling good. Muscle memory's coming back. In terms of what's actually open at Lake Louise um, right now, uh, you've got five lifts, eight runs, um, and recently opened was the Juniper Run just yesterday, which is a blue run. It's probably been my standout one of today. Nice, big, and wide, some good vertical there. Um, right now, though, the snow layer is getting pretty thin. Uh, there's a lot of wind kicking around. Uh, this is probably going to be my last run down. Um, so let's make it a good one. The base. Oh, the snow right now is only around 40 centimeters. It's not a lot. They have relied quite a lot on man making snow um, and they do need some help from Mother Ma Nature. We did it. 
thumbs up for a first day of skiing of the winter. Uh, I didn't have it planned for Lake Louise, but you know, sometimes the unplanned days are the best ones, the last minute decision. Uh, got a couple of nice little goodies from the, the, the store at the end there to take away with me some mementos. Final thoughts from me, um, the day ticket was $100, so that was discounted with it being this early in the season, $105 after tax. If you're living in Banff, um, you know, it, there's definitely enough there that's worth making a day trip up right now. If you're over in BC, um, yeah, I'd maybe wait a little. Um, you know, there's resorts in BC that are planning to be open in the next couple of weeks. Uh, we do need more snow though. I think everywhere needs a bit of snow. We're hoping that we can get one storm in somewhere, but it's been an awesome day, mega day. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching it and, and just seeing me get out there and shake off some cobwebs. The quads are probably gonna hurt tomorrow. Please like this video, let me know your thoughts in the comments, subscribe if you are new to the channel and I will see you in the next video uh, whenever 